Victory and Praise Global International Ministries Media Ministry presents Women Empowerment Moment with Prophetess Sharita Berry. Hey ladies, welcome to Women Empowerment Moments. I am Prophet Sharita Berry and today's topic is following your dreams. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the YouTube page. So today we're going to touch on dreams. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to do what you always wanted to do? Have you ever had a dream that came across your mind so big and so huge or a goal so big and hope so huge? See, some of the words that associate with big is two things. is think and consider. Think and consider. Have you ever considered fulfilling your dreams in life? You know, sometimes dreams can be so big, so huge that a lot of times we doubt sets in and doubt comes from procrastination because procrastination can hold you back procrastination can hinder you it can stop you from moving forward but today ladies i'm here to let you know and to tell you that you can accomplish anything if you put your mind to it with whatever your dreams are you can accomplish it whatever that goal is you can fulfill it that's right you may be saying well i'm 65 well you're never too old hey <laughs> There are women that are 99 and in their 80s and 70s graduating from college. And some of them went back to get their high school diploma, which, you know, something happened in life and they couldn't finish school. So you're never too old to accomplish anything. And you're never too young to step out and fulfill your dreams and to reach your purpose and to reach your destiny. So today I have some questions that I want to present to you. Just a few questions. And you can write them down and then answer them because sometimes we got to do a self-examination of our own self. You know, because sometimes we can be our own worst enemy and we can step stop ourselves from going forward and fulfilling our purpose in life. So question one, what are my short-term goals? What are my long-term goals? Do you know you cannot accomplish your long-term goals until you complete and finish your short-term goals. So in order for you to reach those long-term goals, you must set some short-term goals in place. Where do you see yourself in five years? Ask yourself that. Write that down on that paper. Where do I see, whatever your name is, myself in five years? And then you go a little bit further. Where do I see myself in 10 years? What is the vision that I have for myself? What is the vision that I have for my family? That's right. I'm giving you the questions. Write it down. And then you sit at the table and you think about it. And then you think of the answer that you want to put on that paper. And when you put it down, I want you to do this. What are your fears? Name five top things that are your fears. And then when you name those five top things that are your fears, I want you to rewrite those fears. Turn them fears into conquer. That's right. You can overcome anything if you put your mind to it. You can do anything if you put your mind to it and you are an overcomer. That's right. Hey, we all been through some things in life and we overcame them. That's right. Because the word says we are overcomers by the word of our testimonies. So ladies, I'm here to tell you and I'm here to let you know that I believe in you. That's right. (laughs) Remember Captain Kuhlman? I love her. And she always say, I believe in you. And I'm here to tell you ladies from a sister to a sister, I believe in you. And not only that, hmm, so excited for your future. That's right. So excited for your future. Leave a legacy, not just any old legacy, but you want to leave a legacy for your children, your grandchildren, your great grandchildren, and the generations to come. Leave your mark on this earth. That's right. Leave a mark. Not a mark, but the mark. <laughs> I am Prophet Isberry, and I thank you for listening to Women Empowerment Moments. Don't forget to look for more uploads right here on Hope, Love, and Faith, leading people to Christ right here on YouTube.